always had been a fan of, of Sandy. I remember Jason talking about her and saying, she's good. She has that in her to be good. And, you know, she just hasn't been challenged with material. And, 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 and she's done, she's, I mean, I think she's our Lucille Ball in some ways. She's like the behavioral and the comedy and all the stuff that she does with romantic comedies is fantastic. But I think you could see uh, a lot of the good dramatic work that went into it. So I became kind of crazy about the idea of, of, of Sandy for it and started meeting with her. So these were kind of going on at the same time a little bit. But I would say that, yeah, we had to have Quentin first. Let's sidebar for one second and talk about reputation and sort of like what other people say, because that's sort of an under-talked about aspect. So, you know, Jason, you had said that you, you liked Sandra Bullock because you'd worked with her in something before. Um, to what degree do you hear, I don't know, to what degree does, you know, your experience working with people influence how you, con your conversations with people? Like, do, did you tell him that because you knew he was making a movie or because you're just, because he's a friend, and because you're passing that along. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm the best person to talk about reputations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, yeah, I mean, we made a crap movie together, and um, <laughs> that she convinced me to do, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as a person, you can, you know, look. Performances are about behavior, human behavior. That's why you're able to watch a Japanese movie, a French movie, a silent movie, and you can relate to it. It should be about behavior. The problem is that all movies today, everybody acts like they're in a movie, which is why they're so unwatchable. So <laughs> someone like Sandy as a person, I could, you know, getting to know her, um, there were aspects of her that she was afraid, I think, to show because there was, there's this mistake that people think being casual or natural means you're being good in a movie, which of course is pure garbage. That means you're being boring. But she has interesting parts of herself as a person. And when John told me he was gonna do this thing, I said, there's really stuff in her that's untapped and that she has. And she's also a very good person. So if you have a good person, she's gonna be willing to have the dialogue. And then she has a sort of uh, intrinsic uh, complexity that, in my opinion, hadn't been seen to that point. You can tap into that. So, no, I wasn't trying to get her like a gig as a friend. Yeah. Um, you know, John's my friend. Sandy's someone who I know a little bit. And I thought, that, you know, there's something that, that can be mined there yeah. in a different way. And because she was in a power position, that helps everybody. And then when someone like John, who I know and trust, I thought that he could get in there. So, you know, that was just my opinion. There's, there's one other thing, though, John, that I didn't find out until we three, were, three weeks into filming. She came to me and said that when she was kind of going, oh, am I going to do this movie or not? And she was back and forth a whole lot, just kind of hanging on and had questions, that she emailed Jason and asked him, okay, you worked with this this joker, what, what's the deal? And she said, I've done that several times with Jason, and I always get back like a terse one sentence <laughs> rejection of the person. Yes. And she said, he, he actually wrote like three paragraphs, and he seems to like you, which made me question the project all the more. Yeah. Well, 